Five boys, all hockey centers, and a girl who missed by one place in reaching the Olympics for Canada. What do you remember about the Linsman house with eight people in it? <laughs> In the growing up years, you were all in school, really, at one time, when you were, well, 15 or 16, all the way down. Everybody was in school, and that must have been absolute chaos when everyone <laughs> got home in the evening, huh? Yeah, it was a nut house, really, because everybody, everybody in our family are, have their own personalities, and everybody goes their own way, and everybody's doing this and doing that, plus playing hockey or girlfriends. And, the school, whatever, everything was just going in circles all the time. The three brothers who were home this summer, when I asked them what they wanted to do with their lives, each one of them said, I want to play in the National Hockey League. Knowing what you do now, what tips could you give them, maybe not necessarily about playing hockey, but about their future, as they plan to go into the National Hockey League that you might not have had, advice that you might not have had that you think would help them? I don't know. You pretty well got to feel, feel things yourself. I, I mean, it, everything's a different situation. In the situation that I, I came into, I was lucky in a lot of ways. The situation uh, Johnny came into this year, he's been unfortunate in what's happened. Uh, I don't know. Every player comes into the league a different way, and I don't know how you can develop into becoming a pro hockey player. You just do it yourself, I think, and just feel your way as you go along. I don't want to make this hard for you, but probably one of the the key things that has affected the Linsmans as a family was the loss of your mother five years ago. What was that period of time like? I know your father's described it in somewhat, in, in a lot of detail, but how was that for you? Uh, I don't know. It kind of was all a bi uh, big blur, I would say. Um, you know, you have this hurt, and it's uh, deep down, I guess, where you're just real frustrated that it could happen. Uh, my mother and I were always... Uh, at war the whole time. I mean, it was always, she would tell me to do something and I would ask why and it was always going back and forth and we were so much alike, I think. Uh, and when she was gone, I realized a lot of things after she had died that, that we were so similar, I guess. And I, I, I mean, I was okay. I mean, I just, you know, it just made me madder and more determined to become successful, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was bitter towards it happening, I guess. I really don't know what I was like exactly, but those are the feelings I felt, I think. Your dad said that even when Kenny was young, he had to win, whether it was playing cards with his brothers, and he mentioned arguing with your mother, or whatever, right. Kenny had to win. Where did that come from? Any idea? I would say it probably came from her. My father was a lot more quiet and would sit back and he would even he let the other person think they were doing whatever but he would always try and stay on top my mother would always stick her nose right in there and i've always been the same way and just kind of gone gun ho which isn't always the best way but i like to win that's the only thing in life that's fun is accomplishing things that's our story on ken linsman this is mike emmerich our intermission activities continue in a moment